What is up everyone? Hope you're all well. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an episode of the Coin Set Showcase. Been a while since we've done an episode of this series, so thought it was about time we'd done one. And today I've got a little bit of a hidden gem here, I believe, in the 1986 UK Proof Coin Set. You can get these for around £15, maybe a little bit cheaper if you're lucky. But when you see what's in it, I think it's worth every penny, honestly. Right, what have we got here? That's to join the mailing list. And then we've got a little bit about the history of the mint, 11 centuries in minting. Cool. And then we've got the specs for the coins on the reverse there. As it says at the bottom, up to a maximum of only 125,000 of these sets were authorized for mintage. And I believe the final figure for the proof coin set that year was 104,597. So they didn't quite sell them all. Now, usually I try and slide this out of the case I'm going to be honest with you, I just tried filming this once and wrestled with it for about a minute before giving up because I don't want to break it. So we're going to do our best with it in the case. Let's have a look at the obverse first. Of course, the Raphael Macleuf portrait there. Lovely frosted finish on all the coins. Excellent stuff. And to the main event, and let's talk a little bit about each of these, shall we? Now, of course, we've got the penny and the two pence, both minted in bronze, 369 million circulated of the penny that year and 168 million of the two pence. Um, as we've spoken about before, of course, this is the portcullis on the penny, royally crowned, adaptation, of King Henry the Seventh's badge, and then we've got part of the crest of the Prince of Wales there. Um, but then we get on to the more interesting stuff, and straight away we're into an NIFC, which is not intended for circulation in that year. And that's the five pence, the old large five pence as well. None minted for circulation that year. So the only ones that exist are the hundred four thousand odd in this set, and then the bunk sets as well which I don't have the figure for off the top of my head, but I'd imagine it's probably a similar figure, maybe a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, excellent stuff. The five pence, of course. Um, Cupra Nickel. And part of the Badge of Scotland with the, the crowned thistle there. Then we've got the ten pence. Crowned Lion, part of the Badge of England. And again, it's the old large 10 pence. And again, it wasn't circulated that year. So yet another uh, NIFC coin in this set. Then we move on to the 20 pence with the English rose there, the crowned rose. Um, and this is the only rose 20 pence design that is NIFC. Again, the 1986 20 pence was not circulated that year. And the only other 20 pence to this date, as of recording, that we know of that's NIFC is the 2017. So, um, yeah, not many 20p's that, that aren't circulated. They minted them nearly every year. Only two years they've existed and not been minted. And this is one of them. And then we move on to the 50 pence. There's Britannia. We know her well. We love her. Um, and again, this is the old uh, large 50 pence. And again, it wasn't circulated in this year. It wasn't circulated in a lot of years in the 80s, to be honest. But again, it's an NIFC coin in the proof set. So there we've got those four Cupra Nickel coins, all not intended for circulation, which makes this a great set already. And to add to those four and the two um, bronze coins, we've got a nice commemorative one pound here with the Northern Irish flax. Um, and this reverse was used in 1986 and 1991, 
because they did circle round on these designs again and, and release them all again. Um, but mintage on that one, 10.4 million. And something to note on this coin, if you have the, um, the brilliant uncirculated set for this year, do check the edge inscription on this coin because there is a known error that is missing on some of them. It should, of course, read the Decus et Tutamun, an ornament and a safeguard. Um, but some of the, the brilliant uncirculated ones weren't struck with the edge inscri inscription and they just have milling. But yeah, uh, minted in nickel brass. Yeah, of course, nickel brass. And then finally, we have the first ever circulating two pound coin. And this is the Commonwealth Games Edinburgh, 1986, the 13th Commonwealth Games. And we see St Andrew's Cross there and the Scottish Thistle on the top. Again, minted in nickel brass, I believe. Yeah. And this was a circulated £2 coin. We have a mintage figure for circulation of 8.2 million. It's considered... Um, to be only sort of three pounds in a circulated condition, but one from a proof set, got to be worth a few quid, surely. So taking all that into consideration, two nice commemorative coins, the first ever two pound to circulate, four NIFC coins, I think this is a cracking set for, for between 13 and 15 pounds. Let me know what you think. But that's the 1986 proof set. There's not much more to talk about. We will end by showing you this again so you can have another quick look at any of that. But I will see you in the next video. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. Hit that red button. Leave us a comment. Hit the thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Some more videos here as well. If you haven't seen those, have a watch. See ya.